Uh, next up, Amazon and ESPN Plus are at play for the Sunday ticket. That is uh, based on last week. AT&T dropped the NFL Network from UVerse and DirecTV Now last week, just abruptly. There's uh, contract negotiations that are not going well over, uh, over NFL Network and among other things. NFL has been with DirecTV since 1994 for the Sunday ticket. However, the rights for that can be split between streaming rights and satellite rights. Now, DirecTV can keep the satellite rights, but you would no longer have to get DirecTV to get Sunday Ticket, which I think would make the NFL even bigger than it already is. Amazon, we have been talking about for a while as being a potential partner for the NFL for their uh, out-of-market games. The ESPN Plus thing is new. ESPN or Disney announced last week that they plan to have between 8 and 12 million subscribers for ESPN Plus by 2024. That is five years from now. So right now they are at 2 million subscribers. And they did that since last May, I believe it was. So in less than a year, they've gotten 2 million subscribers. Well, they would need to... uh, seven. uh, No, I'm sorry. uh, They would need to quadruple that, uh, quintuple that. Over the next five years. I think it's entirely possible if you offer that as part of your package. If ESPN Plus, which they're going to combine that with Hulu and Disney Plus and whatever else, right? They're going to package all of these together and sell it as a bundle if you want that. Or you can buy each individual one a la carte, which would be great. I would pay up to 15 20 bucks a month for ESPN Plus, if I can get the NFL Sunday ticket with it. Like, that's that's a no-brainer for me. I would absolutely pay that. Uh, right now I'm paying 5 bucks, and some months it's worth it, some months it's not. The UFC stuff is cool, but uh, we'll see. College football season, we'll see what kind, of, uh, what kind of games they have on and whatnot. But right now 5 bucks is okay. Right? I mean, you, you spend that on, on a fast food meal. So, ESPN Plus being in on this is a major get if they can make it happen. And we'll see because ESPN is doing everything that they can to get back in the good graces of the NFL after that whole crap storm that happened uh, with the former president, right? Former president of the network, uh, he wanted to promote the NBA. Now they've got Jimmy Pitaro in, and he understands that for sports, NFL is king. You have to have a good relationship with the NFL if you want your franchise, if you want your channel, your uh, your company to do well in the sports universe. So, I mean, on, on top of other things, they have ESPN and ABC running two different broadcasts of the NFL draft this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's kind of a big deal. Right, you're going to get a ton of new people that are following for the the human element, the stories behind the guys that will be on ABC, and then you've got the actual football guys that are discussing what it means for teams and everything else on ESPN's channel. 